Hi guys, I am Sanjay. Today we'll see how to use path variable. So suppose an user request for an URL like this uh, app name now get. So what it will the front controller will execute the hello method by seeing the url pattern so here it has a url pattern as get it sees here or oh, here we get the get it see you match the url pattern it will execute the hello method so we see mostly in jsp since you will see something like this get ID equals to one and percent and again name equals to something like this. So this is the you know this is passing values inside variables in JSP in our case. So we'll do we'll use this path variables. How will you use this path variables in case of spring? So for this if I request for a URL pattern like this, localhost annotated backslash slash get I'll print the ID and the name. So let us first print ID. So if we hit this in the browser. see there's no URL or a method mapping with the URL pattern so it treats I it does it's not treating ID as a variable now now so what we'll do to treat it as a variable will use a variable name as ID like this so now if I type in the browser it works even if I type id it works so it's treating id this after get whatever after get is as a variable now what 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 if you want to print this id same as it is so for this case we'll use a path variable annotation we'll write here path variable the variable name is id and we'll cast it to or we'll bind it to a string name id right inside hello and we'll print the id is we'll use the id variable right so now let's look how it looks. The ID is ID. If we give the ID as one, the ID is one, right? So in this way we can have multiple like path variables. Uh, now in this case we'll add up a path variable called name. So these variables are given in curly braces. So at the rate path variable right yeah that will what will it will be there is name this name this variable name I will cast it to a or bind it to a string name so let's print it id is id and normal concatenation what we do it will do it here as well talk at control yourself and name is and so we'll save it and tomcat will deploy it yeah context is still loaded so you can now go and see how it works backslash will give id and name will give my name
so think of a situation where we need multiple path variables so it, it there should be something which would restrict us to write it like this there should be some sh kind of shortcut instead of writing all the path variable inside the function parameter as a parameter so for that case spring says then you can use a path variable as map in the form of key and value pair so we'll go as string and we'll put as vars and variables so what spring says that oops t yeah so what spring says is that all these path variables are binded to the map VARS variable so how we can retrieve the value so we do string id equals to VARS dot get will get the id this variable id variable right and we'll name as VARS dot get what is that name you want to get the name variable so in this way we can um, as number of what we want how, how many number of variables we want we can whatever variables we can add it to the map the number of variable is now fine so we'll run this Tomcat is so smart, you know. It already started. Okay, cool. Right? Yeah. So this is where annotation based path variable we can use. This is how we'll use annotation based path variable. And one more important thing when you're using a map you should have one thing in spring dispatcher server and that is the annotation driven tag inside your bean this is a mandatory one else it can throw an error so now if a request comes in like this the url pattern the spring framework or the hello or hello can or the dispatcher servlet or the front controller matches the URL pattern with this yeah it gets the URL pattern same like this get ID name Sanjay and it executes this method and maps all its variables inside this VARS all the path variables are binded to this variable VARS this is how we can implement path variable annotation in spring mvc so friends thank you for watching my video in my next video we will see how to handle forms using spring mvc till then happy coding thank you